Enjoy 4th of July weekend celebrating America's birthday with Wager Talk and Sports Memo. Whether you're traveling or just throwing a barbecue, having an all-access picks package is the easiest and most efficient way to get selections from your favorite handicapper. A seven-day all-access pass is priced at $119, but this weekend we're in the celebration mood and dropping the price down to the cost of a three-day all-access, meaning that $119 seven-day is now only $59. This comes out to under $9 per day. There is no coupon required, and there is no cap on how many Wager Talk and Sports Memo handicappers you can lock up at this price. From our Wager Talk, Sports Memo, and Gold Chief families, we would like to wish you and your family a very happy and safe 4th of July holiday. Welcome on in. It's Asian Baseball Today time, a Thursday edition. I know Twitter has been saying don't miss the Monday show. Let's be real. Don't miss any of the shows here on Asian Baseball Today. I'm back with you. Happy to be here with my guys, Dan Alexander, the host here, and the guys with me. We got Adam Trigger. We got Tokyo Brandon. And guys, I'm starting to run out of fingers to count how many straight best bets you guys have been cashing for free, let alone the client tickets you've been cashing. And so with all the money these guys have gotten you for free, if you're not buying their packages, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Trig, how are you doing, man? I know that uh, when we get into our takeaway segment, you're going to be talking some weather. I know we're tracking Hurricane Prez heading your way. You guys are going to see a Dead & Co. show together. How are you doing, brother? And uh, what do you have up? Yeah, I'm going to relax all weekend. So, I, so I'm ready for that on Wednesday. I think we're going on Wednesday. <laughs> um, no, it's been, uh, it's been going great. 5% winner in the KBO this morning. Lotte Giants, pretty much e easy from start to finish. They took an early lead, never looked back, won at 5-1. to one. Uh, 23 and 9 now in my last, whatever, 32 KBO bets. So that's, I, you know, definitely can't complain there. Major League Baseball rolling right along. I hit with the Royals yesterday. Uh, I think that's like an 8-3 and three or 9-3 and three run right now. So, no, baseball's been awesome, um, you know, and hope that hopefully it continues all summer. Uh, you know, just keep trying to you know, go into the next day and, and cash another ticket. That's, that's all we can do here. So it's going good. Also worth mentioning, it's the last day to get that early bird special for the NFL, the CFL season that's coming up. I know Trigg also caps the uh, the football as well. Outside of what he does on the diamond, had a good season last year. So when I head on over to that deals page, check that out. No code needed for that. Tokyo Brandon, uh, usually when we're talking, we're talking about another a profit plus night, four and one last night in Asian baseball for you. That was a nice plus 8% night. So you're feeling good and you're trying to keep it rolling. You have anything loaded and of course how you doing tb how you doing <laughs> no i'm not watching the sopranos anymore but yeah um four and one last night i added eight percent profit i checked my last 365 days and i'm up 309 percent in the last 365 days so rolling well uh kbo is 63 percent win japanese baseball 61 percent win uh and so yeah uh i have uh two uh four percent plays out today you can get those uh by getting an all-day pass or i actually put my entire asian baseball card up uh for 19 bucks on my site so you can just get the whole day uh i have six or so plays out in asian baseball today so you can get those and i have my deuce on game worn jersey on today so awesome. it's kind of sweet that's, awesome. that's an awesome Korean jersey. writing on the sleeve and everything so yeah I just bought this uh the other day so anyways feeling good how you doing I was talking with Trig over the weekend when uh who was it that was wearing the uh the, the Starbucks jersey was that SSG that was oh, rocking SSG, those yeah, Trig? <laughs> yeah I, I was just like oh my god I gotta grab one they were sold out within minutes so I don't know yeah. maybe uh show up in full Starbucks. uniform <laughs> to the wager talk meet and greet coming up so we'll have to uh, we'll have to figure that one out um so well, guys actually, let's get into I'm our standings thinking, update I, I collect let's... i collect i collect game worn asian baseball jerseys including japanese and kbo i'm thinking about giving one away at our meet and greet i'm thinking about it Ooh. 
to be that's continued. Little, that's, that's a professional that's tease actually, out of Tokyo Brandon. That's that's not a bad idea. Yeah. I mean, those those go for I a good like amount. I have like two hundred in my closet, so I might as well give one wow. away to to one of our wonderful fans because you guys have been showing us so much love in the chat. Absolutely. Hop below, hit that like and that subscribe so you never miss an episode. Guys, let's get into our standings update here. Start with the fact that the the stranglehold continues to shrink for SSG, partly due to weather, partly due just to surging teams behind them. Uh, still 7-3 and three over their last 10, but tied in the win column here with Kiwoom, who's running hot right now. We got LG and Kia still rounding out that top four despite four lo straight losses for Kia. We'll be talking about them a little bit later. And then just kind of the, the best of the rest. KT Wiz still hanging on there. Samsung staying interesting and at least within striking distance. And uh, with Doosan, you know, three and six, uh, one draw in their last 10. I don't even know if Tokyo Brandon trying to give him some good juju rock in the jersey today is going to help them out and uh nc continues to kind of distance themselves from hamwa even with four straight losses still not at the bottom of the barrel quite yet guys i want to start with you adam because whenever this weather rolls around it seems that you've done a really good job of handicapping how that will affect the team either positively either negatively and just this you know, recent uh, slate that we had, we had some of those rain cancellations. So I know you're tracking how that's going to be affecting these teams. Yeah, Dan, listen, it's a big advantage when, when you when you're accustomed to playing six games in six days and some teams get a day off and other teams don't. Uh, that That's a big advantage. And, and so we want to acknowledge it every time that happens. Uh, we had some weather earlier this week, so four rain outs. And so what I figured I would do every time we get rain, I'm going to come on and and try to go over who, to, you know, who who took it is able to take advantage and who it might hurt. And so I'm just going to go down in, in all 10 teams here real quick. We'll start with Hanwa. Anytime they get a day off, that's a good thing. Uh, that just if they get a day off, you can you can. That is a good thing because they probably have the most sort of battered roster right now. Um, so they got rained out yesterday. Obviously, a good thing for them. Uh, Lote, who I cashed my 5% play with yesterday, kind of good and bad. Uh, I think the rain out helped them to win yesterday, but it also looks like it's going to cost them Siwoon Park for the week because they called that game so late that he was, like, ready for his start. So he was all warmed up, and they called it off right before. And instead of pushing him back, it looks like they're going to skip him entirely and push him off to next week as, as at least as far as what, what I'm, you know, the info I have. So that, that I think hurts them a little bit going into this weekend, not having him make a start. Um, listen, the LG twins team, I've been a little critical of because they have, you know, a key injury right now. They haven't been getting depth from their starting pitching, but if you give that team two days off, they've gotten rained out back to back days. Um, they're going to, they have the best bullpen in the league. So now they're fully rested with all their bullpen arms going into the weekend. So absolutely benefit for LG right there. And the team they were supposed to play, NC Dinos, also get the back-to-back the -back days off. I, I think that only helps NC. Their bullpen doesn't have a ton of depth. Uh, they're getting healthier with the starting pitching. So back-to-back -back days off, in my opinion, helps them too. Um, SSG definitely helped out by the day off. They've had injuries to the pitching staff. So the, the fact that they don't have to come up with an extra starter this week uh, really sets them up nicely for the weekend. And the team that absolutely gets it just would have loved a rain out and didn't get one is Kia. They, they continue to just have a nightmare pitching staff issues. Ronnie Williams is no longer with the team. They've moved on from him. Uh, so Kia is going at it without, without an import pitcher right now until, uh, um, Panoni or whatever, P Paoni, I, I probably destroyed his last name just right now, gets gets in, which might be next week. Uh, they could have really used a rain out and instead lost, got swept by Kiwoom in close games where they had to eat up their bullpen. So we'll talk about that more in a minute. The other teams do sign KT, Samsung, Kiwoom. Uh, I, I don't see a, a huge impact there. but So that's just just should set the table for the weekend. Uh, some teams definitely helped by the rain out and uh, Kia just couldn't add it. They, they would have just loved a rain, rain out game and they were inside all week. So uh, not going to happen when you're playing in a dome. 
Yeah, and we'll uh, be talking about Kia and how they'll be affected and kind of hoping for some of these rainouts. But as you said, uh, the the dome giveth, the dome taketh away in uh, in that instance. Brandon, you've been doing a great job just kind of, as I said on the previous episode that I was with you guys, you know, peeling back the curtain, showing how some of these analytics that you used in your days as a scout and how you've uh, allowed them to, you know, work into your handicapping process. So today you wanted to get into runs per games and how that kind of plays into these different matchups. So uh, the floor is yours, and I believe you came prepared with a graphic, Tokyo. So take it away, brother. I live my life like there's no tomorrow, running with the devil. So <laughs> Goodbye, talking about brother. runs today. <laughs> talking about runs today. David Lee Roth is a very underrated vocalist, by the way. Um, after he left Van Halen, they just sucked. But anyways, let's get on to okay enough. Is Joe out there? Uh, so I'm talking about runs, runs, runs today. Uh, so today I'm going to keep it really short and sweet. What I'm going to show you guys today is a graphic here that uh, indicates uh, runs production when teams match up together. So uh, last show I kind of indicated uh, I like to compare uh you know, when teams get together, low run scores and high run scores. Here's the next three games right here for you. So this is what I use when I'm capping. I don't base my cap on this, but you can see on the right there, 8.9 is the average game score of every game by every team. Uh, and then our next three days, these are our matchups on the left. We got Hanwha, Kiwum, Kia, SSG, etc. So uh, you can see which teams tend to have high run scores and which teams tend to have low ones. I'm kind of surprised by Dusan KT, but Dusan is not producing a lot of runs uh, like they used to, and KT has a great bullpen, so that doesn't really surprise me that much. That it's it surprises me that it's 7.8, but I would expect them to be under average. Um, Kia SSG, two power hitting teams, and they're the highest at 11.2. Uh, Hanwha Kiwum, they're kind of right where you would expect the average game score to be. I mean, Hanwha is a bad run producing team, but they have a bad bullpen and they allow a lot of runs. Kiwum has a great bullpen and they're basically an average. Kiwum's going to be average at everything, basically. But they have a really good bullpen, which is keeping them in the upper shalant upper echelon of the standings. Um, so that was just a quick graphic to show you uh, the next three days. If you're going to bet on your own without our advice, these are the average game scores. So screenshot that and use it in your cap for the next uh, three days series. Yeah, and why not use the information that they have to arrive at some of your own plays? But if you want the work and the guesswork taken out of it, go with the proven winners. Head on over to wagertalk.com and grab these guys' packages, and you get all that analysis in their descriptions as well that you can use going forward and roll with them on their plays. Highly suggest getting a month pass or more. Guys, let's get into our feature game here, SSG and Kia. Um you know, Adam already kind of touched upon just the, the factors around this game outside of the game itself. We got SSG as minus 200 favorites on the money line. Take back if you're backing Kia is plus 170. Total in this one, eight and a half. And Brandon, I'm going to throw it right back your way because, you know, four straight losses for Kia. They're, they're looking for a rain out in the worst way and just can't find it. Uh, and despite going seven and three in the last 10 for Kia, that stranglehold, as I said, at the top continues to lessen. So does SSG yeah. live up to that heavy money line favorite, or is Kia kind of knocking it, maybe shaking off some of these uh, these issues that they've had? Well, SSG has Wilmer Font going today, and he's one of the best pitchers in baseball in the league. He's got a 0. 074 whip on the season a 194 ERA. I mean, he's he's one of the best, if not the best starting pitcher out there. And he's going against Kim Do Hyung for Kia. Kim Do Hyung has a 187 whip. Not very good. Uh, his, uh, I mean, let's see. Uh, he's got 70 strikeouts and 89 walks. So he's one of the rare starting pitchers who walks more than he strikes out. Not real good. And that's over 133 innings of a sample size. So not very good. Surprisingly, though, Kia's bullpen is performing quite well, actually better than SSG's bullpen. Um, 
Wilmer Font has seven earned runs in his last six starts. So, I mean, starting pitching is a huge SSG advantage. I don't really trust their bullpen, but in the last seven days, their run producing is amazing. They're producing 7.67 runs per game in their last the last week of games, whereas Kia is only producing 3.67. Uh, Kia does have the number one uh, lineup, run producing lineup over the season. But if you look at recent form, Kia is just going down the toilet. So uh, yeah, I'd have to back SSG. The The price is pretty high. You might want to give one and a half runs there if you don't want to drink the juice. Uh, but I don't see how Kia can win this game. I just don't see it. So back in SSG, maybe trying to find a way to bring that juice down for you juice adverse betters. Adam, I want to throw it your way because I want to get your thoughts in this game for sure in our feature game matchup, but I think you want to break down a little bit more of how you're going to attack this series moving forward as well. So start with tomorrow's game, tomorrow morning's game, and then you know get on into how you're going to be attacking this series moving forward throughout the weekend. Well, as far as tomorrow's game is concerned, I so this line was the one that wasn't up right away. It took a while for the books to to put a line out on this game. Yeah, there were only four. And so, yeah, and, and so I made my own line. You know, based on knowing what I know about Kia, I, I, I honestly I I wrote down if this line is astronomical, maybe Kia money line just as a sprinkle because I really thought the books were going to put something obnoxious out for SSG. Um, minus 200 is not that bad. Like I, I would make this line That's somewhere in the minus. <laughs> it, it is like, I would make this line somewhere in the minus 350 to minus 400 range, knowing that Kia has big time issues in the bullpen. They just lost back to back one run games, which means they, they burned quite a few of their high leverage relievers and they don't have many to begin with. And Do Hyung Kim who's pitching this game for Kia is essentially, he's a minor leaguer. He's a guy that's, he's a minor league guy. He's literally called up. He's called up to pitch this game because they don't have anyone else and they don't want to burn. They they, they can't do a bullpen game because they'll have no bullpen. So I'm a little concerned here. I like, this might be a throwaway game for Kia and I'll get into why that might be in my series breakdown. Um, but man, if if Kia goes behind in this game, they're not gonna you they're gonna just throw their scrubs. Like they have to, because they need to have pitching for this weekend. So with that being as like minus 200 is really cheap. I don't I don't really want like Kia desperately needs a win right now. They just got swept. So it's it's gonna be really interesting to see in this opening game. Uh, if Kia ends up coming out and hitting the ball, like they might completely change their tune and go for a win. But man, like Wilmer Font, he's one of the best starters in the league. Like 1.94 ERA, 0.74 whip. Like minus 200, as, as Brandon said, is very cheap here. I'm not, I don't know if I, I love this, the spot so much that I'd be like willing to lay minus 200 in a straight bet. But, man, if you're looking for something to pair it with, even if it's from a different sport, SSG minus 200, definitely some value there in, in the opener of the series, knowing that Kia might just might just wave the white flag and save their pitchers for, for the two games in this series that they actually have a better chance to win. So it sounded like maybe a parlay piece there uh, that, you know, minus 200, not like, you know, we're telling you, hey, go out and be betting parlays and, and keep pulling right. off the rubber band on that. But when the price is right, the only time that you're, you know, laying the juice or, or paying the juice is if the play loses. Sounds like this sets up as a pretty good spot for SSG. No sure things, but seems like this is almost as close as you're going to get in betting sports. Now, you know, and, you broke down this first game and the value you found there, Trig. Um, you know, w- what does that mean moving forward? You know, what if Kia does come out and seems like they are, uh, you know, having a chip on their shoulder? Like, does that change how you handicap this series or do you kind of already have a preconception going in? So just I'll touch on the first game quick. What You know, you could bet it straight. And if Kia, it, like, I think you're going to know pretty early on what, what Kia is going to do here. So if they come out and it looks like they're competitive, it looks like they're going to go for it. You could always just buy out in game if you have that option. Uh, but I really do think this first game 
is going to dictate this series quite a bit. And and in my opinion, Dan, it's going to depend on how, like, if Kia ends up with a chance to win tomorrow and they go all in to get that win because they've been, I think they've now lost four straight and they use their top bullpen guys, uh, they're going to put themselves in a very difficult spot going into the weekend because the rain out allows SSG to kind of, you know, reset their their pitching rotation so you're probably it, it, you're most likely going to get quang hung kim on saturday and you'll probably get Yang lee on sunday for ssg now the reason i think kia might just wave the white flag against wilmer font is because font is you know if he's just got his a stuff and he's shutting him down <laughs> right exactly like if he's got his a stuff and he's shutting him down and um you know, all of a sudden, Key is down four runs. They're going to throw their scrubs, and they're going to go into Saturday and Sunday with all their good arms because it's going to be Gi Young Im, who who is decent, like he he he's capable of of keeping in a, yes. keeping you in a game. And then and then Sunday, Sunday is going to be interesting because you could actually make a case to go against Kia if they throw Yuli Lee for the second time in a week because that could be a really tough spot. For, I mean, he's 20 years old. He threw 106 pitches on Tuesday. And he is, like, out of better options. So they're either going to throw Yuli Lee for a second time this week, which is interesting because, like, let's say they get a win on, on Sat. Let's say Kia gets a win in one of these first two games, and then they decide to do that. I mean, that's I, I would almost look to, to play SSG there. But, you know, if they've got all their – if they get killed two games in a row and they go with Lee and have all their top bullpen arms, against Tae Yang Lee for SSG, then maybe it is a good spot to jump in with Kia and you might actually get a good price. So remember, I here it, this is more like giving you like the roadmap for the for the series than giving you an actual play. Um but Kate Kia is gonna try to do their best to get out of this series. They can't afford to lose three more games and, and have seven straight losses. So I really think they're gonna manage this to like set themselves up to be in the best case possible to win one of these games. So you're going to either see them max out on Friday. Like if they can get a lead and this kid gives them a few good innings, they may just go all in with their best bullpen guys, or they're going to wave the white flag against font and stack Saturday with him. Um, or, or they might push him back and have him face Tae Yang Lee. And they're going to give themselves a really good chance to win one of these games. And if Kia does that and they're undervalued, that's probably when you jump in and bet Kia. That that would be how I'd look at the series. So the roadmap laid out there by our man Adam Trigger in this Kia SSG Landers series. Uh, Tokyo Brandon, let's swing it into the MPB. Like you said, you're cashing tickets over there as well. 63% in KBO, 61 in NPB. And for your series preview, you wanted to break down this Oryx Buffalo and Nippon Ham Fighters matchup. Uh, kind of the battle of the bottom of the Pacific over there, but doesn't matter about the records of the team. We just hope is their value in the series. Tokyo Yo, Brandon, the floor is yours, man. It is the battle of the bottom, but Oryx is actually the the Pacific League uh, defending champions. Uh, unfortunately, this season they've had a lot of injuries, but they have one of the best rotations in Japan. Uh, their bullpen's not performing quite like it was last season, but they've had some injuries in the hitting, and they have a hitter named Yoshida one of the best power hitters in the game. He's been out almost the entire season. He had COVID, then he got injured. Then, I mean, the, just a just a, a a bunch of misfortunate things, unfortunate things happened to them. So they've been the the uh, uh, the receivers of misfortune so far. But they got Yoshida back, and he's slugging. He hit a home run last night, and uh, they're swinging for the fences now. And they have a really good lineup, despite the fact that their record doesn't show it. So this is how I'm going to approach this series. If you see any decent lines where you can take Oryx, uh, take them. Because basically the Nippon Ham fighters, uh, I've said this in previous shows, they're managed by uh, Zioshi Shingo. Uh, uh, what? I'm, I'm having a, a, mind, uh, a mind blank right now. Um, 
Shingo, yeah, uh, Tsuyoshi Shingo. He used to play for uh, the Mets, and he played for the Giants in the World Series. He's the manager. He's trying to shake things up, uh, Shinjo. Uh, and he is just experimenting. He's pulling young guys up. He's putting re relievers into the starting rotation, and nothing seems to be working, and they're just kind of spiraling down. And this, is, this team is basically a chemistry experiment. He's just throwing chemicals together, seeing what, what kind of reactions he's getting. So they're not really trying to win. They've pretty much already thrown their season away. They have no chance of doing anything. So I think he's just finding out what he's got in his uh, ingredients box and just throwing stuff out there. So they're not even trying to win. Whereas the Buffaloes, on the other hand, are uh, the defending champions. They're still, I mean, they're at the bottom, but they're not out by too much. They've got their hitters back. They've got momentum. And they've got, in their rotation, they've got three of the top 10 starting pitchers in Japan. So they are really good. They're actually a really good team. If you see any decent lines on Oryx, take them on the money line in this series. I would not advise laying one and a half in Japanese baseball because as I've said before, most of the game scores are five and a half, five point six and stuff. So laying one and a half is really risky in Japanese baseball. But if I were gonna do it, I would do it in this series. Um, but take the Oryx Buffaloes any chance you get uh, on the money line. If if it's a decent line that you like, take them. Because they're going to I I mean they should be able to sweep this uh one, two, three series very easily. Brandon saying run with the Buffaloes in the weekend series. Take Oryx any way you can. That's how he's attacking the series that he's breaking down there. Guys, it's time for best bets, but want to remind people with how these guys have been catching free winners for you. Head on over to their pages. You see the hot streaks there. Um, you know, just terrific work that these guys are doing because they're putting in the work for you. You watch here live or on the replay, and you get some free winners and actionable info all along the way. Best way to thank these guys outside of dropping a like and a subscribe on the YouTube page is just purchase their plays because they are diving in all day long doing the work so you don't have to. Brandon, I'm going to throw it back your way. Speaking of plays that people can get, you talked about that package that you set up for folks. You have some big plays up as well. So remind them what those are. And also, they want to hear, you know, the, the the best bets have been cashing. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I'll knock on wood again that we keep on rolling. What are you going with for the free bet today, Brando? Our best bets have been cashing. And, you know, Adam and I know what we're talking about. We've been winning our best bets. We've been winning the KBO at a huge clip. And we do appreciate you guys watching, tuning in, and all the comments. I read all the comments. I'm going to respond to all to as many as I can. So we do appreciate you watching. Um, and our best bets have been cashing like crazy, and I have one here. It's a two percent client play in Japanese baseball. Uh, it's in the Rakuten Golden Eagles versus the Chibalote Marines game. Uh, we have two of the best pitchers going today. Uh, we have Masahiro Tanaka, if you remember him from the Yankees. Uh, he's back, and this season uh, he's pitching really well. He has a 1.09 WHIP in his starts with a 2.92 ERA. He's doing great. Uh, and he's going against Sasaki, uh, Roki Sasaki. Uh, I don't know if you've heard his name before, but you will hear his name soon. He threw, an, he threw a perfect game earlier in the season. He has two no-hitters. The guy is amazing. He's in his third year. He's got a 0 0 whip with a 1-5-6 ERA. So we've got two amazing starting pitchers. Uh, and we've got two teams that are averaging less than two and a half runs per game in the last week. So this line came out at five and a half. And I know five and a half is low, but man, five and a half is the average game score. I don't think we're going to get an average game score in this game. This looks like a one to nothing, two to one game to me. I'm going under five and a half in this matchup. Masahiro Tanaka and Roki Sasaki, are you kidding me? I mean, the first five innings, we'll be lucky to see one run. <laughs> I mean, six runs in the game. These two teams together, when they get together, they're averaging, uh, they're averaging 3.9 runs a game in their matchups. On top of that, uh, they get, both of these teams are under six, uh, 62% of the time. I don't think this game's going to go to six. So under five and a half is my best bet for the Rockton Golden Eagles, Chibalote Marines game tonight. 
Game's going, so grab the play now. Go get down on it. Under five and a half, Rakuten and Lote. Let's swing it back to the KBO to end Asian baseball today. 23-9 and nine run in the KBO for Adam Trigger. And we're hoping to keep these best bets cashing. What are you eyeing on the card early for us here in the States, Trigg? So, um, I, you know, my my favorite, I, I, the play I really love in KBO uh, is up on my page, the 4% best bet. So, so that is my top play in, in KBO. But uh, the one, one that came close, and I said this like maybe a week ago or two weeks ago on one, uh, definitely a best bet scenario, just not a best bet price. And that's the LG Twins. Uh, Spot-wise, can't ask for a better spot for LG. They get two days off and... Their, their league-leading bullpen is completely rested. So, it, you know, they're going to have all their top bullpen arms ready to go for this game. And that, I, I think that really actually is is huge here because Yunsik Kim has been very, very good for LG. He's going to be LG's starter, 3.99 ERA, 1.46 whip. But he doesn't always give them length. But here you don't really care about that. Like, he goes four or five innings, no problem, because you're backed by the, L, the LG bullpen. That's the top unit in this league. And no one's pitched in, in two days because they've been rained out back to back days. Uh, Lote got us, you know, got me the, the big five percent win last night, but that comes at a cost because they needed their, you know, a couple of their better bullpen arms to close it out. So even though LG is is kind of a team I'm trying to fade going forward because I do think the bullpen innings are catching up with them. Uh, they have a pretty key uh, Ching Ki Hong is still out, which is concerning. So those are all things that maybe like keep it, you know, keep me from wanting to make a client play at minus 150. You really couldn't ask for a better spot. So LG Twins minus 150 is going to be my best bet for the show. And if that's too pricey for you, maybe an LG SSG parlay gets you definitely, you know, plus money there. So, uh, but yeah, LG Twins minus 150, just a really good spot for the Twins off a couple days off. And a tough spot for Lote after the win yesterday. So that'll be my best bet for the show. LG minus one. Yeah, as you were talking, Trig, I was thinking the same thing. Maybe that's the parlay piece we were looking for with that SSG. But LG Twins money line, the official best bet. And Tokyo Brandon going with the Rakuten Eagles and the Lote Marines under the five and a half. That does it for us. I want to give people the heads up. We will not be going live on Monday. We'll be celebrating the 4th of July. So we will be back on Thursday with a chock full show. So, in the meantime, head on over to these guys' page. Grab their plays that are up for tonight. Grab a long-term package as well. Make sure you hit that like. Hop on in the comments. You heard our thoughts on the slate. Give us yours. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss a show. And we will see you Thursday on Asian Baseball Today. For Tokyo Brandon, for Adam Trigger, and for Robert behind the scenes, I'm Dan Alexander, and have a happy 4th of July weekend. Enjoy 4th of July weekend celebrating America's birthday with Wager Talk and Sports Memo. Whether you're traveling or just throwing a barbecue, having an all-access picks package is the easiest and most efficient way to get selections from your favorite handicapper. A seven-day all-access pass is priced at $119, but this weekend we're in the celebration mood and dropping the price down to the cost of a three-day all-access, meaning that $119 seven-day is now only $59. This comes out to under $9 per day. There is no coupon required, and there is no cap on how many Wager Talk and Sports Memo handicappers you can lock up at this price. From our Wager Talk, Sports Memo, and Gold Chief families, we would like to wish you and your family a very happy and safe 4th of July holiday.